In this lesson, I will explain to you the concept of beam search algorithm in artificial intelligence. And this is very easy topic. Again, I will try my best to make it as, e as easy as possible. Here I have written some information regarding beam search. Beam search is a heuristic search algorithm. Heuristic means estimate. We already have some information in advance how to reach to our goal state, right? So beam search explores a graph by expanding the most promising node in a limited set. What is the meaning of more promising node? It means whose heuristic value is less compared to other nodes. And I will explain to you with the help of example. Beam search is an optimization of the best first search means it is just the model Modification of the best first search which we had discussed in our last lesson right how what is the modification I will explain to you that reduces its memory requirements it is a greedy algorithm greedy algorithm means same thing that it follows the route that has the lowest heuristic or estimated value and these are the features that space complexity reduces in case of a beam search which will be constant I will explain to you time complexity decreases and the beam value is given by or denoted by beta m or n in some books you will see beta some n or m it means that they are they are telling us about the beam value now what is the beam value I will explain to you with the help of this example first we will solve this example by using best first search method because beam search is the modification of the BFS so first we will discuss this then I will explain to you what is the modification so here we have to start our journey from S and this is our goal state we have to reach here these are the heuristic values which are already given a means from a to g you can reach in 25 dollars simple make it simple from b to g you can reach in 16 dollars and so on right so here i can write down sorting how i will sort this so we will start from s right this is our starting point so first we will cross this out and i can find out because i already explore s right this cross means i already explore s and here you have to see how many routes we have from s we have three routes a e and b we have these three routes right so please do not consider these values these are the actual values we have to consider the heuristic values which are calculated by using the euclidean distance formula which is called the straight line formula as well so a what is the heuristic value of a which is 25 heuristic value of b is 16 and the heuristic value of e is 11 right so the lowest which is the lowest heuristic value we have to explore that node so this is e e and then b if i will write down e first and then b and then a this is our sorting order right i will cross this out why because the heuristic value of e is small and we are, we are going to explore e so from e we have c e will take us to n c and d so again we have three different routes n c d now we have to consider the heuristic value the heuristic value of n is 5 heuristic value of c is 14 and d is uh, 15 now we have to see which is the smallest one the lowest heuristic value so the lowest heuristic value of n which is 5 if i will write down n c d here and c d so in these five if we have to sort whose heuristic value is small you have to say n so n will be here and then b a c d i am going to cross this out because we are exploring n its heuristic values is small and n will take us to our goal which is our and heuristic value is zero at our goal state so in order to start from journey s to g we have to follow this path s to e e to n and n to g right this is the bfs in bfs see here this is we are going first we explore s then we explore e after that we explored n but the other nodes a b c d is still are in our memory 
even though we are not exploring this but these are in our memory why because sometimes when we will go down we could not find the solution sometime there is a dead end so we have to we have to come back right or we have to track back and find out and use the other nodes other routes that is why we are not exploring this but we keep all these nodes in our memory this is the bfs BFS will give us a complete solution while this beam search will not give us a complete solution it will give us a good solution but the optimal solution may or may not be so what is the modification this is according to BFS right keep in mind we have to keep all the nodes in memory maybe in future we will choose but but we are discussing beam search in beam search which is denoted by beta and m whatever here beta is given two you can have whatever value beta 2 3 4 5 and so on according to the situation if here only i have three nodes that is why i use two it says beam algorithm says that we have to keep only two best routes see here this is 11 heuristic value is 11 here the heuristic value is 16 so we have to keep only these two e and b in memory we do not worry about this we are going not going to explore this in future as well right after this from e we have three nodes n c d so these two are best according to their heuristic value 5 and 14 is heuristic value is 15 so we will keep these two n and c but we are not going to keep d in our memory this is the difference between bfs and beam search algorithm right again it is not necessary that b is equal to 2 maybe b is equal to 3 so if we have different routes so it means we have to keep best 3 in our memory if it is 4 best 4 in our memory right okay so this is all about the beam search so as i said that it reduces the space complexity and then space complexity reduces and it's constant why is constant see space we are only exploring two nodes we are exploring this and the other one is memory uh, other one is in our memory we are exploring this the other best is in our memory so space complexity is equal to constant because here you can see our beta value is 2 it's constant right and time complexity also decreases otherwise in bfs our space complexity and time complexity is order of b raised to power t b is the branching factor d is the depth so how many branches we have how many depth we have but in this case we are taking only two only two nodes space complexity decreases time complexity is also decreases right okay now see what happens here i said beta can be 2 3 4 5 6 whatever but what happen if our beam value is equal to 1 if our beam value is 1 we will use hill algorithm and we will discuss in our next lesson thank you and see you in the next lesson